Sean Layden, man. Oh. He may have taken a dig at Xbox, at Game, Game Pass specifically. So he says that $10 subscriptions can't fund $120 million uh, budget games. You know, big triple A's. Watch them. What do you say, Brett? What do you say about that? Watch them. Oh, you think so? Yeah, no, that's dude. Uh... Yeah, <laughs> boom. Like, well, fucking watch them do it. Like, keep talking shit. That this is that that's nothing but shit talk. Like, unless you fit, fucking sat down and done the math and show me how you you, you can't um you can't convince me of that. And the reason why is because subscription services for pretty much anything else haven't stopped them from dumping millions of dollars into miniseries shit like game of thrones movies it doesn't yeah Yeah, having hbo doesn't stop movies from putting millions of dollars into movies well i mean hbo used the hbo's subscription used to be uh quite a bit more than that than than 10 um and i mean if you're going to use the netflix uh the defense on this uh it is multiple times that you hear that Netflix is not profitable because they blow so much money on their uh, on all of their content, so they're only just paying for everything. No, yeah. I get that, but it doesn't just because it has Game Pass for a lot of games for for first party games for for Xbox. Sure, they're probably going to come first uh, day one, but otherwise. They're going to live out their normal cycle. Game Pass is not where you go to get the newest games. It's games that you got, you you get to play in a few months when you've got time, which is perfect for casual people. Like, yeah, man, I totally want this game, but I'm still working on this other game. Now wait for but it to come out. Main, Game Pass. But the main thing that they want, they they they're nobody's going to be. Uh, uh, yes, it's 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 more like if you're at a movie theater and they're showing a movie that you want, but yet you, you can if you stick around, you get to see some other stuff, to see all the other films. Right, but at the same time, you're not getting in the theater because of that, because of, because of the other films that are coming after the after the main event, and that's that's what Sean Layden is talking about. He's talking about funding those Halos, funding those big those big titles, and can the and if can the the the, the subscription even uh, pay for any of that sort of stuff, let, or is let, it just or is it or or are they are they just going to continue to keep Pushing, you know, pouring money on top of it, you know, like even, even, uh, even, um, you know, even Uncle Phil himself has said that currently Xbox Game Pass has not been profitable. Yeah, no, no, no. Um, Aaron I, I Greenberg that, just but, is but killer. We're not talking about if it's profitable. We're talking about if it's going to stop profit, them from putting... profit, profit, and f- game funding are, are at least hand in hand. Okay, the, well, let's, let's because, do the math. because let's... because because you because you've invested in these new titles. Those new titles are the things that are going to get new subscribers. So, and that's that, that's the larger question: is is this is this sustainable, or are they just going to keep, or are they just going to be just teetering on the edge like Netflix has been? Okay, well let's let's do the math. How many subscribers does Game Pass have? What was the last milestone we passed? How many do they have now? Um, I honestly don't know. Um, but but while somebody's looking it up, I want to read uh, Sean Layden's specific statement about this. He goes, "It's very hard to launch a 120 million dollar game on a subscription service charging 9.99 a month. You pencil it out. You're going to have to have 500 million subscribers before you start to recoup your investment. That's why right now you need to take a loss leading position to try to grow that base. But still, if you have only 250 million, 250 million consoles out there, you're not going to get half a billion subscribers. So how do you square that circle? Nobody has figured that out yet. 23 million. We have 23 million. million. So he's saying you need 500 million to, to, you know, so it, all the numbers all back. Okay, out. so like if you need 500 million, hold on. Okay, times $10 a month. That's a bill. That would be a billion is dollars. $5 right? billion dollars a month. Yeah. He says you need $5 billion a month of yeah. income before you start throwing millions yeah. of dollars at in- investing in games. I think, yeah. Yeah. Well, well, okay, Brett, I think you also need to like. See that not not everything goes to Microsoft off that ten dollars per month. I think it all goes to like again if it's 
again, it's, it's part of like the contract that maybe like X amount goes to certain developers off that ten dollars per month. So I, so I think that they are accounting for that. But even then, that does seem really it's, high, it's, like five hundred million high. subscribers. That seems yeah, odd, and especially really... since since a game budget is 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 spread out over years, right? It's yeah. not per month, right? You know, it's like um like if Destiny, what was Destiny, half a billion dollars, but that yeah, was over billion, years yeah. of development, you yeah. know, and that was that um that's one of those unicorns, right? Like no game yeah. is like at that level of budget um no, the, i mean know, they're high, that high so at 999 you know i don't know what the split is but that's bringing in you know 23 million dollars every month yeah but that's not going to one place it's not only one person no no it's it. not so, no it's not it's I not mean, all going he, to... in, in a sense in in the sense he is sort of right where it's like okay you need to if you're going to be doing the subscription it's going to be going everywhere it's not going to that specific thing so i i, I can understand what he means but yeah it built you it sound billion sounds like a lot of money but at the same time it's like he's also talking about the rising costs of modern gaming which means hd de, you know like ultra hd development which is yeah a, but a it, lot it's different so than, than... four games a year doesn't fucking cost that much when you're only releasing four games. If we're talking uh, two games every month, sure, we could be talking about this. But even with the rising cost, like, uh, okay, so times 12. Um, 2 billion 760 million. You're saying if you make 2 billion 760 million dollars a year, you can't throw a couple hundred thousand at a proprietary game? Or a couple hundred million at a proprietary game? That's not an option that's on the table. You can't well, do that four times. You can't. You can't carve. You, you can't carve. Again, that all that money is not going directly toward that. No, I know. Game. But it's when you're bringing that between, kind of thing, again, it's being spread between a bunch of different sources. So I, I mean, we don't know. That. We don't know. We don't know how much of that. Like, okay, out of all of that, all of that money, if we knew the percentage of every single uh, person that you know, every single studio that's on there, and then whatever is left. For development, that is the amount of money that goes toward their thing. But again, I, I he think, didn't say that either, though. I think uh, what's his name? Uh, fucking, what's his name? Tony? Oh, Sean Layton. Um, Layton. Layton. Sean Layton. Yeah, if, if, if his five hundred million dollar subscriber is fucking egregious. Oh. That's, that's well, it's egregious. Easy. I mean, Netflix. As long as they've existed, they're only at two hundred ten million. If and they're if, the if, top if, streaming service, right? If that's, if oh, sorry. No, no, no if, they, uh, that's that was my point. If uh if Xbox Game Pass has 500 million subscribers, you can fucking take them off from Microsoft and put them on the S&P 500. Hmm. That that's how that's how crazy it'll be. They the but but I still you know I'm not with Sean Layden with those egregious numbers, but I do kind of agree a little bit with the with the, that model, and I have to push back a little bit on Brett uh -oh. um, because I have to. I always do. Um, I mean that's fair. So, you keep me in check. So Brett, you mentioned you mentioned they release only four games a year, but that's not how much development costs. Cause they have like what twenty sixteen studios working at the same time. Like they're not just stop. Like there's not four studios working at a time. All of them are are working at a time. You know, like the initiative is developing their game three four three. The coalition, uh, all of those, all of those are rare. You know, making another Pirates of the Caribbean DLC. They're all working at the same time. So it, you know, it. it there might be four hundred million dollar games, you know, a year or less, or but they're all working at the same time. Um, so that, but but I still, you know, no, no I and I get you. You bring up you bring up a good point, and I know we don't know how that this how this carves out. I don't think that they're bleeding out eighty percent to developers um, to rent their games and put them on Game Pass, leaving them with just a sliver. But I don't know. All I'm saying is that is an insane amount of money to even be bringing in. And even if you just get a small fraction of that, you can throw money towards games. They don't all have to be giant budget games, but I would be really interested to see what the annual budget for PlayStation's uh, game development is. Like, and I, I would actually. Have, and then there's also operation costs of, of keeping the service up. 
and there's also oh, a I don't, bunch yeah, of no, you, you don't keep yeah. the summer farms, and there's, there's a bunch of people that work for it. There's customer service, and there's HR, and so you know, there's 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 a whole I, nine I, yards. I feel like I feel like I feel like it's not just 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 game development. He's also talking about. I think he's talking about the whole, keeping. He's talking about profitability of the service and the operation costs of of the whole thing in general, not just developing it, a game. But then again, he didn't say that, so. Yeah, it's also important to mention that Game Pass isn't the only source of revenue for Xbox. You know, they yeah. all, they've also sold over six point five million of million consoles, which is which is pretty decent. Um, and they've also you know they're also still selling the games even though they're they're free on Game Pass. They're still selling the games you know outside of that, so they could still make revenue there and also from the live uh, Xbox Live uh, services that they still have people on. Um, so they don't, ever, they don't ever say what their sales are anymore, do they? No, I don't think so. No, no, they don't. They don't need more. Okay. Well, have they released a game in the last year? No. no. <laughs> <laughs> they haven't. Really. You know, they have not. Well, you know, they have nothing to brag about. Maybe, maybe, maybe the amount of people that are have logged into uh, into Sea of Thieves and how many people have walked them, you know, and sailed across the world. The world, you know, they, they they have that to brag about. Into Davy Jones' okay. locker. Uh, real quick, you guys. Um, just to put everything in perspective, uh, as of 2020, the average median uh, cost of game development was between 60 and 80 million dollars for the full game. Yeah, what about advertising and up upkeep? The advertising that they could go hundreds of millions of dollars on, we've seen that shit. That's where Destiny dropped. They have 500 million dollars, but 250 million of it was in yeah, advertising. advertising. Yeah. So like we're not we're not talking about advertising with game development, especially when you have a service that is already advertised and would be news when it came to said service. You don't have to put it on the new on the commercials to get your player base to watch something or to play something that is already on your streaming service that they're already subscribed to. It, it it's you don't really need to do that as much. So like let's let's take not the marketing for the sake of argument, let's take the marketing out of it and say sixty to eighty million dollars per game. Right. Okay. Fair. Sure. Okay. Um, how do you want to do the math? You want to say uh, of what they bring in? How much do you think is actual profit? I would I would say general business terms say about fifty percent. That's where people they, they generally try and aim is to have their cost be about fifty percent of their earnings. So I'm going to kind of take that as a base tally, unless anybody has a problem with that. I don't know. It already sounds like we're going into assumption territory right now. Yeah, I'm I'm using averages and means, man. It's it's not assumption. It's the best educated guess we can get using numbers. Yeah, but you're kind of assuming how much of that is um, profit, right? I'm I'm assuming that half of everything that like they are bringing in might be going out to the people that they're licensing games from, and and the upkeep of the server farms and such. So yeah, like most. Most businesses, and I, I understand it's not super profitable right now. I understand that. But generally, you want to hit in business a 50% mark. So yes, for sake of argument, in assumption, let's actually say, you know what? Let's, let's, let's cut that in half again. Let's, let's say 25% of all the money they bring in is actual money that stays in there. You know, they not talking about R&D or anything like that. Just straight, that's their profit, which I think is highly conservative still 690 million dollars yeah annually how many how many games can you develop with a with that so in the spirit of the question do i think that they would still be able to spend millions of dollars on v developing video games yeah when you look at the numbers spending 60 million dollars when you're making 700 million dollars a year easily conservative estimate i it's not super profitable right now because they're sinking so much into game development it's not that it's not profitable on its own it's that they are holding 16 studios in constant development and that's where all their money is going and they're trying to build up a library so yeah i, I agree that they're not super in development uh super in in the in profit right now but you can't can you really look at these numbers and say that we can't squeak out two hundred fifty million dollars for development of video games this year. Yeah, again, I don't know how these people, you know, parse all the money out. Because remember, some games get more money than others. Some studios get more money than others. Um, that's just how it is. Some are just yeah, are prioritized. Really, 
I really doubt Psychonauts okay. going to cost more than twenty million. Yeah, Psychonauts. So, yeah, and, exactly. and, also, yeah. like, and also, let's also say Psychonauts was already paid for. They inherited Psychonauts. Oh, that is so true. they didn't. Microsoft didn't really need to pay any pay much to develop it. All they got to do is just advertise already, this shit. You know? Psych Psychonauts already, is not a big AAA game. It, it's, it's not, not a AAA game. No, but it's, again, Psychonauts also is not a game that they actually paid for. It's something they inherited. Yeah. And they're not also even necessarily see advertising it hugely. Also, see if Thieves didn't look that expensive. So no, they, God, they, no. They, well, they, I mean, they, didn't even, they didn't even have the money to fucking do the other half of the Kraken. They don't. Okay. They, they don't have. They don't. I mean, they don't seem to. Fl I notice a lot with gaming, not like film, where they actually sort of tell you how much games cost these days. You know, they sort of kind of keep it mum. You know, <laughs> with films. No, you? as far as as far as games, like they don't go like, hey, this game costs. Well, no, they, yeah, they, they don't. They don't tell you that. They don't know. do that. Yeah, so, yeah I think. Can, I think. I think a lot of the 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 bigger titles that Microsoft's going to release are the Bethesda ones. Uh, you know, Halo and Gears are are the other ones. But uh, who knows? Maybe maybe some of the other studios. You know, like uh, what's it called? Ninja Theory doesn't really make. You know. Triple A budget titles. No, they're 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 in the they're in the line of work where they want to make uh, what they call, you know, double A trip with triple A quality. So in other words, they're smaller smaller games with with smaller teams teams, but they have a big budget look and feel. That's that their proof of concept was sinuous sacrifice. Okay, I I'm just I'm just curious. Um, so I I know I haven't won some of you over. So I'm gonna ask the opposite question. Like, what what makes you think that there wouldn't that they wouldn't invest millions of dollars into games anymore because they're on a subscription service? No, they're they're investing in what Microsoft is investing in, in right now is potential. The potential to be profitable. Yeah, but the I question agree, said, I do agree with I do, uh, but I do agree I do agree with that. But what from what yeah from what Mr. Layton says is that this. The, with the with, this cannot be sustained with a with a uh, with a subscription service. Okay, and why does by that? Way, Brett, and Brett, what, what, yep. by, when you say what, try to win us over, what are you? Trying I don't mind trying to win. Over? I'm trying to see your point of view. I'm not trying to be antagonistic here. I have I'm no kind of, I have no real point of view on this thing. I just feel like, oh, maybe well, I do sort of agree with with, with Layton on this. I don't think that this that this it can fully become uh, profitable. Especially with the with the rising costs of games and the expectations of gamers, but you know maybe that's what Microsoft is looking for—just the teeter on the edge of, uh, edge of, of profitability. Who knows? Yeah, I think uh, it, I don't. Go ahead. I think you know Microsoft isn't at a point where they're anywhere near satisfied with their subscription numbers. I think they're they're trying to you know build them up more and more. Uh, I don't think they need to do 500 million, like you know Sean Layden says. I think that's egregious. Mm -hmm. uh, but uh, if they do, if they do, like maybe around 50 to 60 million by you know by next year, I think that's a good good place to be. Yeah, um, they're looking for growth, and you look for growth over long term. That's why all these studios have jumped into the streaming business. I mean, AT and T. Put, bet the farm on HBO Max, right? They didn't bet the farm and and do simultaneous release and lose uh, a box office money, um, you know, to just teeter on the edge. They're like, no, we just grow this over time. We're going to take some losses, but then we build up the subscription base. And then, we, then you start seeing returns, right? And uh, I agree with Carlos, like uh, 500 million, that's insane. That's it. I mean, you could stream Netflix on a potato, and they don't have that kind of number. So, <laughs> so, yeah. so how how does he think this is going to work? Like, you know, they're going to sell five hundred million Xboxes. Get out of here. Well, it's about the subscriptions, it, you know. Um, and like we said before, there is a potential there, like even potential to get billions of subscriptions, but it hasn't happened yet, obviously. Um, but Sean's just again, I'm I'm trying to figure out his dumb numbering here you know what i mean like it makes, yeah. it makes no sense Billions he's talking out of his ass yeah like i kind of don't understand and the thing is he has no reason to talk shit he's not associated with sony anymore you but know no here's the weird thing he sounds like he's doing the math that's the part that pisses me off yeah like that's the reason that i'm kind of arguing the way is that he sits down and he breaks down the math but doesn't actually break it down and gives you this fucking ludicrous number that like i said like wait a minute if you if it's ten dollars a month 
and you need mm-hmm. this many. Like that is an obscene. That, like, that's the wealth of the small but, but, country. You know, right. Right. Yeah, no, you've got to understand. Wh- you go you got to understand where he got that number, though. Okay, yeah. Help me understand where that number. Comes yeah, where you from. get that number? It's from. The, it's from the depths of his ass. <laughs> yeah. God damn! I walked into that. I think because I think he said something along the lines of like, "Oh, if you have a a triple A game that costs like two hundred million dollars to develop, like, oh, yeah, but not everybody's doing that, you know." Microsoft sure as fuck isn't. I mean, you Actually, could do one of those a year. Yeah, Go I actually have like some some thoughts on this. Oh. Um, I have like two. I have two thoughts. Don't worry, they are perfectly fine. Um, the first thought is. <laughs> Yeah, I can kind of agree where Sean Layden is coming from. Like, but I think Sean's only looking at it from the point of view of if you only have Game Pass and Game Pass is your source of income and that's it, then maybe there's not enough left over to, to put money into those games, which is, again, which may be the, the case. But then again, like maybe Microsoft's not using Game Pass as its only source of revenue. Again, as Carl said, they have Xbox Live, consoles, and Windows money. So I think if you add that up, they are perfectly fine. And also, how long did they take to recoup the $7.5 billion from Bethesda? It was, was like a two months or something done like that? It was, it was ridiculous. very quick. Microsoft or Xbox? Microsoft, because this is all Microsoft. Microsoft. Yeah, yeah. 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 Microsoft yeah, they, they, was up real quick. Remember these yeah. motherfuckers trying to say, "Oh, they need to do this to recoup the loss." Like this is Microsoft, bro. Yeah, yeah. and a few, and, and, and in a quarter or two, they probably did it. Yeah, yeah, and and then the other thought is, if that's the case, that like Game Pass cannot support these big budget AAA games. Maybe that's a good thing. Because one mm. of the big things that we've been seeing is that game dev costs are just skyrocketing like mad for various reasons. So maybe this might be the check that keeps game costs in, well, yeah, the balance that keeps the game costs in check. Because you can't keep having it so that every generation game costs just double. It's yeah. just not, it's just not going to work. I like so that. Maybe, so maybe this will say like, hey, like, Let's not just like pour all this money into all this development over like eight years and costs go up like three hundred million dollars and whatnot. So maybe it'll like force them to be a lot smarter with how they approach development. So hence, we, hence there's a possibility we could get, um, as uh, I think Brett said, double um, A games that look triple A, and for the most part, that's. That's fine, and then only like maybe once every four or five years, we get like a big budget, like massive open world game. We get like a GTA like every five six years. It was me. Yeah, I mean, yeah it was. It, it wasn't me. <laughs> yeah, we we can't we can't get a GTA. There's still more GTA that we're getting. But another thing I want to point out is, you know, when when Microsoft has this many studios, they're already like using a shitload of Bethesda assets sprinkled throughout the rest of their studios. They are. Um, synchronizing, maybe synergy is the right word, whatever the fuck the, the word is. They're they're having um, talent work across studios, and that's going to uh, basically share the assets that you already have and help streamline the process too. So they can they can be more efficient with the way that they spend money because they're like the you know fucking Walmart of game development now. They're fucking huge and they have everything. So um, I think that could help as well. But like yeah, if you, if you have a bu- uh, top end on, uh, top uh, end on a game. People will be creative in the way that they use it. People make really good games with not millions and millions of dollars. It does the the increase in quality versus the increase of cost do not seem proportionate. I mean, to up to a certain point, and then after after that, it just seems you're just blowing money for no fucking reason. So I I still maintain though I I don't think that we're going to see Game Pass blow up and then in two years not be getting triple a games anymore i think that is for some reason like that just sounds to me like oh you know yeah, i mean it may be good now but just you wait they're they're gonna get you in and then you're not gonna have anything like it just it just sounds like a weird shit talk just straight up shit talk the numbers don't add up and i have to say i i still think that they'll spend millions of dollars on games because they just spent Billions of dollars on a studio. I, I don't see Microsoft skimping out on the cost uh, when trying to recoup 
their losses. And even after, I don't, you know, they're going to want to maintain and hold that audience. They've lost before. They were they were ahead for a while, and then they just lost fucking everybody. They know what it's like to just bottom out as a company. I don't think they're, they're going to want to do it again. 